All right, I think I want to cover this article now um, that I found on chess.com. Um, all right, so if I go here. All right, so now the layout for you should be, uh, for you guys should be correct. Um, so uh, Nakamura supports Gary VD in clash with Grand Prix organizer over sponsorship. Um, now, I believe this has to do with uh, uh, World Chess, I believe, and the, like what they say about like sponsors and everything like that. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, World Chess, I guess I'm right. Uh, the organizer and owner of the commercial rights of the FIDE, uh, FIDE Grand Prix has contacted participants about their personal sponsorship. James Anish Giri and VD reacted on Twitter, uh, suggesting World Chess is trying to get a cut from players' own sponsors. Meanwhile, Jim Hikaru Nakamura supported his two colleagues in one of his recent streams. I was actually, I actually watched his, uh, I think I actually watched that stream live whenever whenever he, he said uh, stuff that basically supported what they were saying. Um, World Chess doesn't have a great track record of organizing chess events without causing a stir. Weeks in advance of the FIDE, FIDE Grand Prix, the final series of events organized by World Chess before its contact or contract with FIDE ends. It is involved in another controversy. This time, it's about sponsorship. In an email to the participants, World Chess wrote last week, uh, we have been made aware that some players are negotiating 2023 contracts with new and existing sponsors, and you're happy to offer a position to your sponsors inside the events. The package will include a right to display the logo on player's jacket uh, and digi uh, digital presence. If you would like your sponsors being advertised during the Grand Prix series, please let me know and I will contact you, the uh, partnership specialist. Um, how could you not say that that's not like, how could World Chess ever say that's not them trying to take a cut from the players? I don't know. Uh, as one of the participants, VD, sponsored by the Digital Engineering and Enterprise Modernization Partner Persistent and Meditation app, Black Lotus, and that's a mouthful, uh, was, for, was the first to tweet about this. He placed a poll on Twitter, whether asking it is fair, uh, whether it is fair to ask a player sponsor to to pay the organizers as well in order uh, for the player to sport their logo. Um, VD, a grandmaster, uh, obviously very experienced in chess. Uh, is it fair uh, for that to happen? And 80% of the people who, who uh, 80% of the 14.6 thousand people said, no, that's ridiculous. And, and it is, you know. Um, um, I mean, I've learned all about this just based on Hikaru talking about it, but, uh, Gary, who was sponsored, who was sponsored by the Dutch pro propriety, uh, trading film, our firm and global market over, uh, maker Optiver supported his friend VD tweeting chess organizers, world chess in this case, uh, discovering new revenue sh streams is great, but trying to fish for a cut from players' own sponsors is not helping. It is challenging enough for a player to find a sponsor. Let the players wear the logo at the events they compete in. And I believe that this is actually true. That that is that it is a uh, challenging, very challenging for a chess player to find a sponsor. Um, and, and and chess can. Um, sometimes just isn't the most reliable um, in terms of uh, bringing in income, so that might be a part of the reason why I'm not too sure. I'm not I'm not really familiar with uh, sponsorship deals and everything, but anyway, let's keep going. A reaction came from Fide also via Twitter. Uh, email Fide's director general made the point that there's a difference between Fide and World Chess the main organizer for the three Grand Prix tournaments, and that FIDE is legally bound to its agreement with World Chess. All right, let's see what he says. Uh, FIDE is not World Chess. World Chess is not FIDE. Kindly stop blaming FIDE for the policy employed by World Chess. FIDE never asked players to, uh, a cut for their private sponsorship money. 
Um, and then he goes on to say, World Chess has uh, commercial and broadcasting rights for the FIDE uh, Grand Prix provided by previous FIDE administration. They also had rights for the uh, World Championship and candidates that we reclaimed in 2019. We will try to help resolving issues, but we can't legally impose the decision. Um, kindly stop blaming FIDE for the policy employed by World Chess. I don't think anybody's actually blaming FIDE. FIDE. Actually, um, the only the only thing that I've heard is that like uh, Hikaru thinks that like. FIDE should uh, try to step in and be like, no, like this is actually the way that we should be doing things. Um, but in terms of asking for a cut, uh, I don't ever remember hearing anything about um, people blaming uh, FIDE for that. Uh, only World Chess. Uh, between 2013 and 2019, World Chess, formerly known as Aegon, owned the commercial rights to organize all events in the World Championship cycle. This was based on a contract in, P uh, in this PDF uh, that stems from 2012 and was signed with the previous FIDE administration. In 2019, FIDE retained the rights for the World Championship and the Candidates Tournaments, but the Grand Prix Series still belongs to World Chess. The contract between FIDE and World Chess ends after the three 2022 Grand Prix Tournaments are over. Um, but yeah, I... I <laughs> Even reading this, like, I still think that, uh, you know, like, FIDE still, uh, like, recently uh, got back the Candidates Tournament and the World Championships. Uh, so I do think that, that FIDE should, like, uh, step in a little bit more and be like, no, like, we, we shouldn't take a cut um, from the player sponsors. And I, in a comment to Chess.com, FIDE's uh, chief... Uh, marketing communications officer David uh, Lada explained that at FIDE's own events, players would need to get a personal sponsor sponsoring approved. However, when there is no conflict with the event sponsor or the standard sponsor requirement uh, of the International Olympic Committee, basically any private sponsor sponsor is allowed. Uh, also on Twitter, World Chess CEO. Uh, I can't pronounce that name, uh, joined the debate and actually denied that his company is seeking a cut from private sponsor revenue. Uh, okay. Uh, Anish, you've been part of the cycle event since I can remember. Rules have been the same. No private sponsors at FIDE events. Same for Grand Prix. Uh, of course, World Chess is not asking for a cut of players' sponsors' money. If they want to be at an event, they should make a deal with the organizer. Well, if they make a deal with the organizer, they're taking the cut. Are they not? I, I mean, I could be wrong, but... Uh, Alright, uh, Nakamura, who is a Grand Prix participant thanks to being nominated by FIDE, supported Geary and VD while countering... Uh, that person's tweet that I saw up here, uh, in a stream on Sunday from his hotel in Warsaw. Oh yeah, I remember that. Uh, the American top GM is still in Poland after he had to quarantine following positive COVID tests at the World Rapid in Chess at the end of 2021. Um, he is actually home now, um, thank goodness, and he is feeling a lot better. Um, but I do remember that. I definitely do remember that, um. Uh, yeah, I can't, I can't remember what he was doing on that stream, actually. Um, but I do remember him talking about it, um, being like, hey, it's kind of ridiculous how, how World Chess is trying to, you know, just take a cut from the player sponsors and everything. Um, and the reason why I remember that is actually because, uh, during the stream a few times, he did drop frames just because of the fact that the Wi-Fi there wasn't as good as the Wi-Fi he has at, at uh, where he usually does his streams. Uh, anyway, let's keep going. Uh, Nakamura noted the potential effect of requesting more from the player's private sponsors. Sponsors are getting jaded. The players potentially are struggling to get sponsors, and it's a big issue. It's quite a serious situation. That it is. 
the American Grandmaster revealed that he had sent a strongly worded email to World Chess where he cc'd several people including uh, Anishkiri and Vidi supporting their standpoint and pointing out the fact that it's very hard for players to get sponsors. That actually, yeah, that's that's the that's the thing, you know. Like, I mean, Hikaru knows a lot more about this than I do. He's he's played chess professionally for for many 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 years, um, and yeah, like it, it, if he says that it's very difficult for chess players to get sponsors, then I choose to believe him. Uh, I mean, he he is a very honest uh, person in general. Um, as you can see, the regulations simply set uh, simply request that the players get approval. As you can also see, the approval can be from FIDE or FIDE's commercial ag agency. I assume a letter from uh, FIDE President uh, Arkady, is that how you pronounce that? Uh, uh, would suffice, Nakamura wrote in his email. I, I can't remember if Hikaru... No, Hikaru actually did read some of what he uh, put in his email, I believe. Uh, in his stream, he added, I hope that FIDE is going to put their foot down. Like, they, they need to uh, really do that um, as soon as possible. Um, and, and Okay, so this is a kind of react to the, the, the controversy in his stream. I, I will uh, watch that um, after I'm done reading this article. Uh, Nakamura is clear on what he thinks about... Uh, this person <laughs> denying that Royal Chess is asking for a cut of sponsor money. Uh, what part of does that sound like they're literally asking for a cut? Uh, or what part of that does not sound like they're literally asking for a cut? They're clearly asking for a cut. How does making a deal mean anything other than asking for money? Yeah, that's that's what. Oops, that's what I was uh, thinking earlier whenever I was reading this. Like how like. Up here, he said, uh, of course, World Chess is not asking for a cut of sponsors' money. If they want to be in an event, they should make a deal with the organizer. But then I'm thinking, isn't making a deal uh, with the organizer um, just asking for a cut from the sponsors' money? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> and then they uh, put a car's tweet here. Um, one of my favorite grandmasters at the moment, I will say that top two, I can't, I can't choose between Carlson and Nakamura. It's probably Nakamura by an edge just because I, uh, like I can actually watch him stream and, and play a lot of chess and everything. But anyway, getting off topic, uh, can the player simply ignore the demands of world chess if FIDE does keep its foot down as Nakamura suggested paragraph 8.4 of FIDE's regulations of the Grand Prix series states. Players shall not wear, use, or display any apparel, footwear, accessory, or other item, including but not limited to any piece of attire or any article that is of an accessory nature. Example, bag, eyewear, armbands, gloves, socks, uh, chimes, beverage bottles, etc. Bearing an identification of or advertising or otherwise promoting the player's sponsors without prior written permission from FIDE or, or FIDE's commercial agency. Uh, the final phrase by FIDE or FIDE's commercial agency suggests that permission f from FIDE might indeed be enough. However, FIDE's lawyer uh, has pointed out that the old 2012 contract between FIDE and World Chess will have the final word as it comes to commercial matters. Therefore, it remains to be seen whether players will be able to have their personal sponsor logos in the Grand Prix or not um, without making use of the package offered by world chess um again which just simply is asking for a cut of the sponsor's money um the grand the three grand prix tournaments will take place uh on february 3rd to 17th 2022 in berlin germany february 28th uh to march 14th 2022 in belgrade serbia and on march 21st to April 4th, again in Berlin, Germany. The top two players will qualify for the 2022 FIDE Candidate Tournament, which takes place um, on June 16th to July 7th, 2022 in Madrid. Um, again, and after the Candidate Tournament, whoever wins that will go on to face uh, 
Magnus Carlsen in a uh, World Championship match. In the World Championship match, I think I can't I, I can't remember how many points. I think it might be the first to like six points or six and a half points. And then you win the championship match. I can't I can't remember honestly. Uh um but yeah, let's uh let's uh watch this video. I'll uh I have to change the change the scene. That's that was the that was the thing. Okay. Yeah. So this is what his uh, room looked like down here, and uh, and uh, you know, in Warsaw. Um, yeah, and I think I remember this too. He, uh, I remember this. He was playing the uh, puzzle rush battle. I think, like the that little tournament that they had. All right. We have an article to cover as well, so I'm going to stop the music and we're going to move right along. What is this article? Let me change the scene. I actually don't think I have a scene for this, but whatever. All right, we're going to, we're going to cover an article. So give me one second. Let me adjust the scene just a little bit so it makes sense. There we go. All right, I will pull this up. Okay. There we go. All right. So we are going to cover an article very briefly, you guys. It's an article from Chess24. And here we go. Gary Vedic question world chess. Ch chess 24 does kind of have a bad rep sometimes for getting facts wrong, but. Vedic Grand Prix sponsorship demands. Vedic Grand Prix organizer World Chess is asking the players to get in touch for a quote unquote package if they want their personal sponsor logos to be shown during the events. The demand has provoked reactions from top players Anish Giri and Vita Gujarati. But World Chess CEO Ilya Marenzen denies they are actually asking for a cut. Okay. So here we go. All right. Picture of Anish, obviously, and the article keeps going. All right. The FIDE Grand Prix, a series of three tournaments in Berlin and Belgrade starting February 3rd, is the final chance for players to secure the two remaining spots in the 2022 Candidates Tournament, mm -hmm. the qualifier for the 2023 World Championship match. The series will feature 24 players, with each player competing in two of the events. The events are organized by World Chess, formerly known as Aegon. The company that organized, our, organized the World Championship matches from 2014 to 2018 and lost several lawsuits against chess servers over the rights to broadcast the movie. <laughs> All right, that's a little bit of a, a little bit of an unnecessary jab. I will say that that's that's a little bit unnecessary. Yeah, um, yeah, I that, agree, that's, but that's, that's a little bit unnecessary. Well, yeah, it. it's like the point of the article is just kind of get to the point and explain things. You don't need to, like, have unnecessary jabs at whatever, you know. So, okay. Okay. In, in the email to the players, World Chess writes, We have been made aware that some players are negotiating 2022 contracts with new and existing sponsors, and we are happy to offer a position to your sponsors inside the event. The package will include a right to display the logo on player's jacket and digital presence. If you like your sponsors being advertised during the Grand Prix series, Please let me know, and I will connect you to a partnership specialist. <laughs> all right. So this is this is all fairly standard. I even said this on the stream last night. This is not exactly rocket science. The following paragraph is included in the current regulations and was also present during the 2019 Feeding Grand Prix. Players shall not wear, use, or display any apparel, footwear, accessory, or other items bearing an identification of or advertising or otherwise promoting the player's sponsors without prior written permission by FIDE or FIDE's commercial agency. While the above clause in the regulation is not new, FIDE have previously allowed personal sponsors to be displayed, provided they are not in conflict with FIDE and IOC's values and policies. Right. During, the candidates player, yeah. during the candidates, players were granted permission to wear logos in exchange for giving a few hours of their time, but it was not strictly enforced. FIDE also stresses that they have never actually asked for a cut from the players' personal sponsors. All right, so all this... Um, all of this so far is, is pretty standard. I just want to be very, very clear on this. Uh, there, is a, there is a difference between FIDE and World Chess. Now, nobody really knows what the whole arrangement or agreement was in, 
in terms of world chess and the rights that they got. I mean, to me, it seems very strange that Fide has not been able to basically just kick Fide, kick up, not kick Fide, sorry, The Fide is <laughs> not able to kick uh, world chess Aegon out. Somehow Aegon still has this part of the cycle, which to me makes no sense. I don't, I yeah. don't understand it at all. It just, it's a yeah, Fide is like the big, like, whenever you think of, like, the biggest chess organizations in the world, like, your mind, like, automatically goes to Fide. Like, you, like, I, I've honestly never heard of, like, I, I've, uh, been playing chess forever since I can remember. Um, like, kind of, like, casually, just, like, here and there. Um, but, but yeah, I've never heard of, uh, world chess, like, ever. And, until, until I've actually watched the stream, believe it or not. <laughs> As far as this part about wearing um, wearing sponsors is 100% accurate. Basically, if let's just say Emil Sotovsky or um, or anyone at FIDE says you know we're fine with the player sponsors being featured, then World Chess can do nothing about that. Um, so it's it's kind of it's kind of a little bit weird that they sent out this whole email. But let's keep going with the with the article. All right. Um, okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> this picture of Magnus. Oh my gosh. Also, by the way, FIDE also stresses that they have never actually asked for a cut from players' personal sponsors. Once again, FIDE is separate from World Chess in a sense, so that's the, that's the reason that when this is said, this is actually accurate. Okay. The requirement comes at a time of increasing demand from organizers to get their share of player sponsorship money. One example is Magnus Carlsen, who went through negotiations with FIDE regarding a sponsor, Unibet, a betting company. The details of the negotiation are not known, but Carlson did display his sponsor in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. So, so you see how it says here, FIDE stressed that never actually asked for for a cut from players' personal sponsors. Um, I, I, I guess what FIDE is trying to do is kind of like, like FIDE as an or, as an organization is not World Chess. Like it, it's two different organizations. Um, so that's why they're kind of, I guess, stressing that they've actually never asked for a cut from uh, player sponsors. Um, ob obviously, World Chess has, but let's keep going. Okay, so there's a picture of Magnus. What a picture. I mean, what, <laughs> <laughs> that's such a great picture to show. He looks disgusted um, at the position on the let's, chessboard. Let's, let's keep scrolling. Um, okay. World number seven, Anish Giri, who is sponsored by technology-based trading firm Optiver, is among the players who are critical of the demand for what appears to be a cut of sponsorship money. On Twitter, he supported his friend and former second feed it and said players should be allowed to wear logos during the events. Chess organizers, World Chess in this case, discovering new revenue streams is great, but trying to fish for a cut from players' own sponsors is not helping. It is challenging enough for a player to find a sponsor, let the player wear the logo at the uh, to find a sponsor, let the players wear the logo at the event they compete. Obviously, I completely support Anish, 100%, um, and very, very well, very well put. And then we keep going. We, we have another tweet. We have a tweet from Beat It that says, um, let me scroll down, that says, is it fair to ask player sponsors to pay the organizers as well in order for the player to support their logo? Again, very, very, very logical points. Chess24 reached out to Geary, who declined to comment on the matter further. Popular chess streamer Levy Rosman did offer a support Geary tweet to his 172,000 followers. Apparently, the organizers of the upcoming Grand Prix are asking companies who sponsor participants for a cut to show their logos. No wonder top OTB chess will not experience the effect Over of the board chess, chess. It is a bubble filled with... That's what OTB means. ...and no respect to the players. All right. Um, so so most of this, most of this uh, I, I tend, tend to agree with. Um, they always plug in Levy. This is chess 24, so... Not, not actually so accurate. But anyway, <laughs> um, the point is pretty true that World Chess definitely, the way the email was was uh, was worded, it's very clear they want to cut out of out of players' um, sponsorship. Now, I will say this because this is not included in the article whatsoever. I actually uh, sent an email this morning, a strongly worded email to World Chess, uh, and I cc'd quite a few people on each on each and. Um, Anish and Vedit amongst them, basically supporting supporting their standpoint and the fact that it's very hard for players to get sponsors. And there are two problems with the situation. Aside from the fact that Vedic most likely, I think, will correctly 
allow players to wear their sponsorship logo, sponsor logos. Um, think about it from the perspective of chess players. It's very hard to get personal sponsors. There are only a handful of chess players who have personal sponsors. Oh, yeah. I think almost all of them are roughly in the top 10 to 20 players in the world. So it's very hard to get a sponsor. So what happens, let's just use Vita as the, as the obvious example. Um, say say Vita, for example, is in a situation where he gets a sponsor. Let's just say, it's, I don't know if it's a milk or meditation or one of these sponsors. And he's like, well, he has to go to them and talk to them. And they're like, well, wait, what, what, what's going on? Because if we just, if we, if we have you, if you, we have you showcase our logo at all the tournaments, that's the whole point. So if you're coming to us asking about why like you can't show up for this one tournament, then that company is going to become very skittish, and they're going to wonder, well, wait, what's going on? Like, oh any, yeah, any normal that's sport, players are allowed to wear, wear, that's wear good the point. logos um, of whoever their sponsors are. Very specifically, I'll use like Formula One um, to as, as a simple example. And so what that happens is then you have sponsors getting jaded. The players potentially are struggling to get sponsors, and it's a big issue. Um, so it, it is quite a quite a serious uh, situation. So let's keep going with the article. All right. Um, so, whoops, I didn't mean to go there. Let's let's go back. Okay. So that, then then we keep going with the article. So Singaporean grandmaster Kevin Kevin Goway Ming also supported his colleagues. As if seeking sponsorships in chess isn't hard enough, we have prats like World <laughs> asking for ridiculous cuts in farming athletes like they own them. Something needs to be done to protect athletes. Okay. So that's a reply to Anish. Um, the one, the one thing that I think I will say, and this, this is on FIDE especially, is that I don't know how FIDE can do this, but they, FIDE needs to make it very clear that there is a separation between World Chess and FIDE itself. And what exactly is going on with this contract in terms of why FIDE does not have the rights uh, to, the, to the what's called the quote-unquote FIDE Grand Prix? Because I think it's a little bit insane that... that it, yeah, 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 yeah. FIDE Grand... I forgot... <laughs> It's not just called the Grand Prix, it's called the FIDE Grand Prix. Like, it's even named after FIDE, and, they, like, right now, they, until the next Grand Prix is over, they don't have the rights to the, their own Grand Prix, which is kind of ridiculous. And it's not simply FIDE for the events. So, th there should be something said on that. Um, Alright, so let's keep going. Here, here we go. We have this. FIDE General Director Emil Satovsky distanced himself from the new demand and pointed out that the FIDE Grand Prix events are organized by World Chess and not FIDE. FIDE is not World Chess. World Chess is not FIDE. Kindly stop blaming FIDE for the policy employed by World Chess. FIDE never asked players for a cut of their private sponsorship money. All right. Uh, so as much as you guys know that I'm not a fan of Emil, he is actually right with what he's saying. Yeah. World Chess has commercial and broadcasting rights for the FIDE GP provided by previous FIDE administration. They also have the rights for the World Championship candidates that we reclaimed in 2019. We will try to help help resolving issues, but we can't legally impose a decision. Um, so, yeah, so I mean, I don't know why FIDE can't reveal exactly what the situation is, because it seems very weird to me that they are unable to get the rights back for the uh, – for the Grand Prix specifically, because that's the one thing that they don't have the rights to, yeah. and it just makes it's, no sense at all. Yeah, it is weird. Did, like the previous administration signed like twenty year contract, or what exactly happened? Because it just does not make um, it just doesn't make any sense whatsoever. So, all right, so let's keep going. All right, um, here we are. Responding to Satovsky on Twitter, World Chess CEO Ilya Marinzon disputed that they're actually asking players for a cut. Marinson also responded to Gary once again denying that they're asking for a cut, saying they simply want players to make a deal with the organizers. Um, How can he say that's yeah, not? I'm going <laughs> to go right back to my phone. I'm going to find that email, and this is where I'm going to read that read that paragraph once again. I, th I think it's in here. I think I think parts of it are in here, but the whole thing's not in here. So I'm going to I'm going to read this once again, and you guys tell me if you if you agree with that or you don't agree with that. Um, so. So uh, we're, we're, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read on my folks. Obviously, you can't, you can't read emails. Um, okay. As it says, we have been made aware that some players are negotiation, negotiating 2022 contracts with new and existing sponsors, and we are happy to offer a position to your sponsors inside the event. The package will include a right to display the logo on the player's jacket and digital presence. If you would like your sponsor being advertised during the Grand Prix series, please let me know. Or maybe actually they did, they did put all of it. I didn't think they put all of it. But apparently they did. But it says, if, if you would like your sponsor being advertised during the Grand Prix series, please let me know and I will connect you to a partnership specialist. In what way? I actually thought they cut off part of it, but they actually put the whole thing in the article. So um, so I actually didn't need to read it. <laughs> um, I thought there was like one line or two lines that were missing, but I, I, I'm mistaken. At any rate, 
what part of that does it not sound like they're literally asking for a cut? I mean, they're clearly asking for a cut. It's not, it's not a, and also, how does make a deal mean anything other than, than asking for money? Um, yeah, it's like <laughs> exactly. Deal, I mean, FIDE, for example, has been much more, I think, like lenient. They've been, uh, they, they like, there are other things, like maybe they want you to promote like something regarding women's chess because this is the year of the women's, chess, women's chess or things of that nature. But like when World Chess and Aegon, which is nothing except the FIDE Grand Prix cycle, is trying to make a deal there's nothing there except asking basically for a cut um yeah so yeah it's it's just it's just it's just insane I'm, i i hope that fide is going to put their foot down i really do hope that fide puts their foot down so okay all right so um so there's the anish tweet everything's here oh and then we have we have this reply from marinson which says anish you've been a part of cycle events since i can remember rules have been the same no private sponsors at fide events same for the gpct and match of course, World Chess is not asking for a cut of sponsorship dollars. If they want to be at the event, they should make a deal with the organizers. Um, I'm just going to say that, as I as I as I said earlier, um, as I said earlier, and actually, I'm, I'm going to read a part of my email that I that, that I actually replied with now. Um, so give me one second. So I'm just going to I'm just going to reiterate re reiterate one part that that um, that that I said, which is. Um, All right. What did he say? <laughs> Let me let me read this. Okay. One, one second. Let, let me pull up one, one little part. Um, one second. It must be truly lengthy if it's taking him this much time to find what he wants to read. Second. Yeah. Pause, champ. Exactly. Just give me one second. I'll try to scroll through the relevant part. Um, yeah. Okay, so just one one little one little paragraph of what I wrote. It said, it says, as you can see, the regulations simply the regulations simply request the players get approval. As you can also see, the approval can be from FIDE or FIDE's commercial agency. I assume a letter from Dvorkovic or Satovsky would suffice. So, as, as part of that email that I sent this morning, um, basically FIDE just has to put their foot down, and hopefully FIDE will. I think I think I mean FIDE for all the things that I'm not a fan of. Uh, I think they do understand the climate and what's what's going on. So mm -hmm. I do expect basically Satovsky or Dvorkin to be like, you know, we're 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 gonna we're gonna approve Anish Vita, Hikaru, everybody else who uh, who wants who wants our sponsors. So that's a little bit that I would say. All right, so let's keep going. In a statement uh, to Chess Twenty Four, Marinson says they are simply following the rules and regulations <laughs> since twenty fourteen. That players must receive prior written author authorization in order to display sponsor logos. Now I'm going to tell you right off. That I do not believe I ever got written uh, written authorization when I had Red Bull cans uh, at the chessboard, so um, so I'm, I, I think Marinson is kind of hedging it a little bit with what he's saying because I, I I know for a fact I had Red Bull cans, and based on this he's saying that everybody was having to write to Fide or to Aegon to um, to get uh, to to get approval, and I definitely didn't have to. So I, I think that this is very questionable. Um, so it says, okay, the reasons for this provision, in my view, is that the event's principal source of financing is sponsorship, and sponsors demand predictability, including the number of sponsors and assurances of no conflict. How would it look, for example, if, for example, MasterCard sponsored the event, and the player who ends up winning the event was sponsored by Visa, with the Visa logo clearly displayed on the player's jacket during the awards ceremony? <laughs> what are the odds, though, of that happening? Like, come on. Not only be a huge commercial scandal, but a gross violation of sponsorship ethics and best practices. Um, great example um, by Marinson. The only problem is I've yet to see any FIDE Grand Prix event be sponsored uh, by any major commercial company. Uh, I think when, when I look back, there were yeah. things like there was one of Grand Prix that was that was uh, had Renova Group as a sponsor in the past. Um, but I can't think of a, of like a major Fortune 500 company uh, being a being being a title sponsor on any chess event. Uh, in, in the last like twenty years, world, world, the world championship has had some big sponsors, but like if you look at the Grand Prix, they they haven't had those sponsors. So once Marinson gets those sponsors, then maybe this is something a valid point. But it one hundred percent is not a valid point at the moment. Okay. All right. Anyway, Marinson adds there are ways to agree with the organizers, World Chess in this in this case, case by case, specifically in exchange for services to the audience, audience such as master classes or other arrangements. Also, in some cases, player sponsors can be offered additional sponsorship packages by the event organizer <laughs> in case they want bigger exposure, and that would include the right to display the logo during the event. 
All arrangements should be formal and confirmed by both parties, and top players should be will be informed of such arrangements beforehand. Um, this is just insane. I mean, this is insane because, as I said before, if you as now I think most of the players are aware of the contract because whether I've said it, the email I sent, or this article, uh, FIDE just has to approve it. World Chess can't do anything about it as long as FIDE says it's fine. So, so okay. Um, in, in a comment to Chess24, FIDE Chief Marketing Communications Officer David Yada said, this debate is healthy. It only shows there are more commercial interests about chess, and the interest in the game is growing. Other sports have experienced the same frictions in the past, like Formula One, snooker, and football. Both sides, players and tour tournament or organizers, will need to meet halfway in most cases. Mm -hmm. um, one problem that I would say with this bit that David Yada adds here is when you look at Formula One, snooker, and football, there's a slight difference. All of these sports are multi-billion dollar industries. Chess is not a multi-billion dollar industry. The FIDE budget exactly right. is approved is $13 million for all of 2022. So when you think about this is just FIDE using FIDE because they are the governing body. They have a budget of $13 million. World Chess, who knows what their budget is, but they're, but the sponsors that World Chess gets for these events is not major. It's it's not um it's not in the million dollars. Uh, it's not in the millions of dollars. Maybe Snooker's not billions of dollars, but but Snooker for sure. The top prizes are pretty hefty, aren't they? Yeah, Snooker uh, for sure. I mean the the like if you if you look at like uh, obviously the World Championships are pretty big. Um, the 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 Shanghai championships um british championships you know like there's all these like really big tournaments that that snooker has um um i mean i only know that because i i've watched um like different clips on youtube about like different like different um snooker matches and everything but yeah like snooker is uh, definitely 100 percent has um sponsors that are worth a lot more money than than in in chess for sure they're pretty hefty um at any rate compared to chess so uh yeah snooker's not multi-billion uh that that is true but um but at any rate when fide which is governing body for the entire world they have a budget i believe 13 million now i could be wrong on that um to have this sort of debate it's not right when we're talking about billions we're talking about hundreds of millions or billions of dollars then maybe it's a discussion that can be held can be held or or people can have that, but right now that's not where chess is, and um, and so it's just very, very silly to me to try to compare compare something like Formula One or football specifically. Whether you mean American football, European European football, whatever whatever it is, like they're not comparable. Mm -hmm. They're not comparable. Chess just is not like that. Um, and I would say in terms of chess, the the closest comparison is something like poker. And when I think about poker, all player not all players, but a lot of players have many different sponsors, and they will gladly display them on their shirt or whatever whatever it is even though espn i think technically has the rights to to the to to air the event so again once chess gets to the point where it's a much bigger prize pool and there's much more interest in the game sure then we can these conversations but right now it's just uh it's real it's really silly especially because mostly sponsors like let's just say vita on each or even myself we're not talking about sponsorships into the millions of dollars like say a uh, lewis hamilton um or Serena Williams, Sharapova, what, whatever it might be, it's just not comparable. So, um, yeah, it's just I, I I think that FIDE will hopefully just put their uh, put their foot down. They'll say yeah, players can 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 can, uh, can show whatever sponsors they want, and that that's that. So again, I think the the ball is kind of in FIDE's court, but I do think FIDE also needs to. I mean, I guess Emil's trying to make it very clear that World Chess is not a part of it, but I would hope that if they can, they can release some part of this contract that they're locked into with World Chess Aegon because it doesn't, it really doesn't make sense how yeah, it, I agree. there's still this outside group that already tried to do stuff with chess and failed miserably um, over the last, like, I mean, last 10 years probably uh, is being involved. So that's just a little bit that I will say. Obviously, there will probably be, there will probably be some updates to the story, um, and we'll go from there, but it's what it is. So that's how it goes. Yeah. So, so yeah, hey, Kyra did a, did a uh, really good job of of uh, explaining it um, compared to me. Um, 